Cross multiplying is a technique for solving equations where there are two fractions on either side of the equal sign. Now it's quite a simple technique. It simply says that we times the other numerator by the other denominator. So I times that side by 2 and I times this side by 3. Now, it helps if I place a bracket around the entire numerator. If I times this one by 3, I get 9x take away 12. And I've times that 1 by 2, so that equals 10. And then I then add across the 12. So 9x equals 22. So to finish off with, I divide by 9, so x will equal 22 over 9. So, again, I'll place brackets in first this time, it's a pretty good technique to use, and then times the numerators by the other denominator. So I times up by the 7, and up by the 3. So 7 times this bracket here. 7 times 5 is 35, 7 times 4 is 28, so it's 35. x take away 28. And then this here has been times by 3, so 6x plus 3. And then want the x is on the left hand side in this case, so I'll take away 6x. So that leaves me with 29x, take 28 equals 3. And then add across the 28. So 29x equals 31. And then divide by 29. So x will equal 31 over 29. Now this technique still works even with more complex looking equations. So I'll place the brackets around the multiple terms first. And the rule still applies. I times the opposite numerator by the other denominator. So I times up by 5 and up by that entire bracket. So it's 5 lots of this bracket here. So it's 25x, 5 times 5x, and 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. And that equals 2 lots of this entire bracket. Well, 2 times 3x is 6x, and 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. And then we solve the equation using our normal techniques. So I'll take away 6x first, leaving it as a minus 2, be very careful there. And then add 10, so 19x equals minus 2 plus 10, which is 8, and then divide by 19 x will equal 8 over 19. The golden rule, always times up by the denominator to the other numerator, putting brackets around the tops where necessary, or the bottoms where necessary. And remember to times both things in the bracket by the required number.